Our friends over at Soundcore have been making compact portable Bluetooth speakers for many years now. Some like the Soundcore 3 or the Motion Plus are pretty dope and hot sellers in their own right. And some of you probably own one of these. But I'll tell you what, nothing, absolutely nothing prepared me for their latest little speaker on the go. This right here is the Soundcore Motion 300. If you're looking for a portable speaker with the audio chops and high-end build of the X600, but want something cheaper and tougher, the Motion 300 just might be your holy grail. So let's do this after this short message, if this is truly dope or nope. Let's go. Let me run through some quick specs on the Motion 300. This thing retails for 80 bucks and it comes in three different colorways. Bluetooth 5.3 on board with AAC, SBC, and get this, high-res LDAC support. Yes, LDAC on a tiny speaker like this, it's pointless, but at least it's there, right? And also there is multi-point Bluetooth connection. But just so you know, as with most devices, it will be disabled if you have LDAC on. 30 watts altogether, two 15 watt speakers sitting side by side. They have base up technology. And there's also adaptive EQ here, which is it changes the EQ by itself based on the orientation the speaker is at automatically. So I think there's some kind of uh, accelerometer or something in here. If you have it on its back or upright or hung from the loop like this, it will change the EQ on its own. You can also do it manually if you like in the app. There's IPX7 uh, water resistance. There's no dust certification, 774 grams. And battery life during my time with it, 9.8 hours at 65% volume. If you have LDAC on, it drops that down to around 7.6 hours. There's also a single mic for phone calls. We'll test out the phone call quality later on. I can guarantee that one of the first things you notice when you pick up the box like brand new from the store is the weight of this thing. The box is small, but you're like, wow, this is heavy. And that is until you take out the speaker and then you realize the majority of that weight comes from this thing in the box. There's only like a charging cable and a couple of paperwork and that's about it. So this thing in the hands feels like it's made out, out of like one solid piece of metal, even though it's not. It's really like a metal grill the front and it's protected by like soft rubberized PU back here. That it, that it protects against scratches up to a point. It self heals and it seems to repel grease marks as well pretty good. Uh, it's not the kind of rubber that turns gummy after two or three years, so that's a good thing. You can see the base venting port at the bottom here. Four legs if you rest it on the, the back like this and two more legs at the bottom here. Really nice touch if you rest it like so. The carry loop is removable as well through this button right here and it goes through this loop. At the top, you'll find some waterproof membrane buttons, power, uh, Bluetooth pairing, and it's also, you also use this to pair it with a second speaker. Uh, bass up, the Soundcore logo is not a button, it looks like it. Plus, minus, volume up, volume down, and play, pause. And the brightness of the LEDs back here can be adjusted in the app as well. On the side right here is the waterproof flap. Make sure this is nice and tight before you bring this in the water. And you can see there is a single, come on focus, a single USB-C uh, charging port. You will notice there is no auxiliary in, so that's different from uh, some of the other speakers uh, Soundcore provides. And, and they also, this thing can't serve as a power bank, like to charge your phones or something, because this has a decent sized battery, battery, but it doesn't charge other devices as a backup. There's also no party cast, but you can do a multi-speaker mode. So you can get a second Motion 300 to serve, serve as a second speaker for dedicated left-right channels. Testing, testing, one, two, three, test, 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 one, two, three, test, 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 one, two, three, testing, testing, 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 one, two, three, test, 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 one, two, three. One thing I really like about the Motion 300 is its fantastic build. It's rugged and modern at the same time. And also a little bit fun because if you've noticed in some of my B-roll of this device throughout this video, you might have seen some splashes of blue color pigments blended into the outer rubberized coating. It must have been done during the mixing process. And I think a lot of thought overall and also passion must have been given to ensure that everything feels and looks expensive without compromising ergonomics or functionality. So a pat on your back, Soundcore, well done. With products like these or the X600, it almost seems like Soundcore is giving other brands a fair warning that whenever, 
not if the brand decides to scale up their know-how into making larger hi-fi speakers like monitors, satellites, or bookshelf speakers, they will be killing it, guaranteed. And I have a strong feeling that dedicated speakers is in their pipeline, guys. So mark my words. Yeah, I mean, if they can make 15-watt drivers sound this clutch, <laughs> there's no telling. But anyways, I digress. The 300, in case you didn't know, pumps out audio differently depending on the orientation you have it in, which is similar to what Bose has done with the sounding flex. The EQ brain in here adapts to whatever position the speaker is in, so like hanging it by its carry loop like this tells the algorithm to boost the gain, whereas lying it flat on its back boosts the mids and bass instead. When you set it up right, Soundcore says that the speaker is both dynamic and balanced. Now, I listened and tested the speaker in this upright position the most, so my opinion about the SQ stems from this setup. To test the speaker out, I brought up first what it's like by Everlast. Yes, one of the best songs ever, super cool lyrics. The guitar rift and drum beat comes in nice and clear on this. It's really nice, but granted, it's neither a bassy nor wide song, so overall the 300 does really well here. Pushing this thing a little bit more, I brought up Massive Attacks Paradise Circus, and this piece is a simple but precisely produced track that is great for testing the accuracy and energy of your hardware. So things like the xylophone notes swaying from left to right channels or the bass fillers throughout the song. On these speakers, you quickly spot the limits in sound staging and in the low end as well. This does not hit very low, which really is totally understandable in a speaker of this size. Oh, another point I want to add about this speaker is that it pretty much carries Soundcore's signature clinical and technical sound profile, which means the 300 draws out important details from songs. It's pretty good at that, but fails at the same time to draw out any emotion from them, at least to my ears. I also did notice that overall clarity as well as the mids are mildly muffled with degradation becoming more acute the more off-center you are from the two woofers. They're side by side right here. So like vocalists sound like they're gagged by the time you hit like 65 to 75 degrees from your ears. And one solution to this as well as to the weak soundstage is to pair with a second 300 for some better stereo separation. We're at 100%? Yes, 100%. We'll start with a single speaker. We're going to connect the second one later on. About seven feet away. It's really windy today. Fifteen. Not bad, right? 20. Thirty. Thereabouts. Remember it's a hundred percent volume. Switch to a different song. How's that sound? Okay, let's test double speakers. Let's pair them up. So now we have two speakers set up, both left and right channel. I'm gonna put it one on this corner of the deck and the other one on this side. And we'll try to do some, try to aim it anyways in a proper way. And let's make sure that the uh, volume is at 100%. Let's start playing. Let me get down to... Can you hear this? Left, right. As I'm panning my head left and right, should be able to hear some separation. We're gonna drop now. So we're at 15 feet. 20-ish and 30 
How's that? Let's try any other part of the song. another one all right we have another song what do you think guys how's the separation it, it's more realistic or more convincing the closer you are maybe around here the separation is really good I love how compact they are you can barely tell that they're there in it and all that sound is blasting this way Gummit. This might be the first wireless portable speaker I don't have any major negative feelings about. I mean, I guess this thing is small but weighs like a solid brick, so if you drop it on your ow. One hour later. Like Honda's current love for lots and lots of horizontal slats in their car center dashes, you owners know what I'm talking about. They look great, but they are a pain in the butt to clean, right? So Soundcore's metal speaker grills, same thing, like the Hondas. They look retro and cool, but once any semblance of dirt or sand get in there, you're pretty much done. Yeah, it would have been nice if Soundcore included some kind of access panel in the back or somewhere, or a removable speaker grill. Well, let me tell you something, guys. I am so sick of the Motion 300 at this point, yes, I am sick of how good it is, that's what it is. Audio is crazy awesome for 30 watts and the dimensions it has to work with. Battery life is killer, it's rugged, and I'm loving the upscale materials and assembly. It's super awesome. Especially on Reason Soundcore speakers from this and the X600, there's none of that boring monochromatic capsule shapes that we're used to. And now, just so you know, this speaker is quite literally a direct competitor to the Bose Soundlink Flex. Everything from the automatic orientation EQ to the shape and also stereo pairing and the style of the carry loop. Soundcore basically targeted Bose, set out to outdo it, and I can safely say in terms of price and performance, won that contest by a mile. Now, another similarly spec speaker that I can think of is the Flip 6 by JBL. Compared to the Bose and also the 300, it's really a non-contest. So check this thing out. The links are down below. Just buy it, really, just buy it. It's a great stocking stuffer and a gift for Christmas because it performs really awesome and it's pretty budget. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm glad you're here. Thanks to Soundcore for sending me this. If you like to see more videos like this, don't be a moocher or freeloader. Subscribe and thumbs up. That's a thumbs up and subscribe down below and comment as well and join the conversation. And I also have Patreon where you can support me there. Buy me a cup of coffee or tea or something. And the new YouTube uh, membership thing. Click on join down below and you can see one single tier and there's a bunch of perks for you guys to check out. Anyways, remember to do something loving and kind for somebody in this world because guess what, guys? The world needs it more than ever, and it starts with you. I love you all very much. Peace out, and God bless.